there, everybody. This is Javi Rep at YouTube Gaming YGO coming at you with a deck profile. And if you haven't already figured it out, it is Orcus. Now, for starters, this is just my build, my take on Orcus. This is not the end all be all. There are definitely much better variants and much worse variants than this variant. But for today, I'm going to let you guys see what I've got going on. And if you guys have any advice for me, since I'm not the best Yu Gi Oh player ever, Go ahead and leave it down in the comments below how I can make this deck better, and then I'll showcase it, and I'll definitely give out credit to the person that helps me out once I modify it and showcase it again. Without further ado, let's cut right into it. So for the main deck, we are running... Sorry, first one, guys. We are running three of the Gearsu, of the Gearsu, the Orcus Mech Knight. Uh, that's your starter right there. You can dump Orcus into the graveyard or a World Legacy monster. Also, you can get a level one token if you, know, if you don't control other monsters. And also, if it's in the same row or same column as two other cards, it becomes a tuner. Next up for the Orcus engine, I'm also running three uh, Orcus Nightmare. Those are the extenders in the deck. Uh, she is allow she allows you to foolish burial a uh, Orcus monster, World Legacy monster. Actually, just a dark machine monster, which is pretty ba. Uh, pretty badass, not a uh, burning, not burning abyss. Next up, I've got the Orca symbol skeleton. I know, I want the supers. Trust me, I cringe every single time I just see these rares. Just kidding. Next up, I kept thinking I didn't need this card, but I actually do. Um, this is a this is a little bit of a starter extender in itself. If I need to, I will go into Link Karibo with it and then continue combo from there. Next up, I have two of the World Legacy World ones. Um, I was thinking about running one, but two is good. Especially if I'm if I have one already in hand and I dump this from the graveyard, I'm able to just go ahead and special summon the one from hand as an extender. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. This next one is another pseudo Orcus card that I have, along with the World Legacy World Ones. This is the Gizmic Orochi, uh, the Serpentine uh, Sky Slasher. You guys are very familiar, especially if you guys are OG Oak Orcus players from like 2018, 2019. I think is when the deck. I was retired during that time. I came back 20, 2019, really late in the game. And I picked up Sky Striker Orcus, so I've been running that this deck since then. And so I've been running this card in that deck since then. And uh, I have mixed feelings about this card. Maybe I'm using it incorrectly. Leave leave your comments down in the comment section below. But let's get with this profile, and I'll explain to you what I'm dealing with with Gizmek Orochi later. Okay. Next up for the PK or the Phantom Knight engine, I'm running one cloak and two silent boots. This is for the uh, Rusty Bardish that had just came back off the ban list. And yes, I do run the VFD variant. So this is a cool little engine that I'm mixing things up with in this profile. Next up for my starters, my main starters, I'm running the Scrap Package. So there's a new addition to the Scrap Package right now for this format after this ban list. And no, it's not this golem. It's actually this one right here, Kirstron Rosenix. I'm able to activate um, Scrap Recyclers Effect, dump the Rosenix. Banish those next from Graveyard, special summon a token, and then I go into Scrap Combo from there with a Scrap Wyvern, which is pretty cool. Really good starter. Uh, one of the weaknesses, and I'll talk about weaknesses closer to in the video, so I'll hold that thought, okay? Next time I'm running the Bricks, because what good is a 2020 Orcus deck without Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon? Not much to say there, just two Garnets, two Bricks, in order to get to, the one, to one of the most dangerous monsters in the format. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Next up for the Hand Traps. This is a very tough deck to make for me. And uh, it was really hard to get it down to 40 cards. So the only two Hand Traps that I run in this deck are two Ash Blossom and Joy Springs and two Infinite Impermanences. If I could, I would run six of each. I'm just kidding. But I would try to, if you guys can find a better way to do it to where you guys can run three of each, really good. Also, if you guys can run Gamma in here, that's even better. Uh, Christian Hunk of Fiber actually is hard to fit into the deck. But let's go on to the spells. So for the spells, I'm running... Doubler, I'm running two of the Orchestrator Return and two of the Triple Tactics Talent. Like I said guys, uh, space was pretty tough and this was pretty hard to uh, adjust. I did, I was running uh, three of these and three Forbidden Droplets at one point, but then I had to, uh, you know, improvise, adapt and overcome. I'm trying to get this to focus or maybe it's just me that's seeing it like it's not focused. But um, anyways, I was trying really hard to make this a 40 card variant and uh i don't know i might go back to having it over 40 i'm not sure then for the one ups for the spells i'm running one orchestrated battle i am running lib in the extra deck so i am going to run this one world legacy success uh, succession like i said we're running vfd the red eyes fusion 
and the Foolish Burial for our last Pluto Orcus card here in the uh, here for the deck profile. Next up, guys, I've got traps going on. Uh, for traps, all I've got is three, so I've got two of these, and then I've got this this one right here just to keep it Orcus. Now, uh, before I'll let you guys know, I was running two of these, but like I said, when I was trying to I was trying to squeeze it down from 44 cards, I brought it. I was able to bring it down to 42. And then I brought it down to 40. Um, now I went 44, 43, and then 42. It was really hard to squeeze it down. And these are the only traps I was able to run in here. But you guys can go ahead, like I said, this is not the end all be all. Go ahead and just try to mess with the ratios in order to make it to your guys' play style, which is pretty much what I did. Next up for the extra deck, I'm running the one and only, the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon for the XCs. I'm running two Ding, one VFD. Two ding is what I've been running since I picked it up the Sky Strike Workers back in late 2019. Uh, no more than three. Uh, I've seen some deck profiles that try to get away with one. And if, that's, if you guys are able to be really good with your resource management, unfortunately I'm not. Um, go ahead and go, go ahead and test it out at one, three, whatever you want to. That's Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, guys. Do I really need to say any more? Also, you guys saw me running Triple T earlier. I'm running Triple T uh, in order to snatch steal that, which has come up. It's really good for the links. I'm running the one link Karibo. One part of Plant Verte Anaconda to go into the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. One IP Mascarena because Orcus does what it does best and it plays on your opponent's turn. And Mascarena is that honorary um, Orcus monster. Scrap uh, Wyvern in order to go into the plays. And then two Bay Lateas because she's Bay. And no, guys, they're not ulti, so these are actually misprints or they're fakes, uh, whatever you want to call them. But uh, I do want to get some, I would prefer to get the ultis. If this deck kicks off or before it kicks off, but we'll see, right? Then I'm running the Lib, who's also base, so we're gonna call her uh, Blib for this one. Oh, one Nightmare Orc is just a combo with this right here to go into your opponent's turn for plays. Rusty, because he's back off the ban list, so let's go. Orcus round two. Uh, one up Palooza, because hand traps are very scary for this deck. If I open and if I'm able to build board, uh, more than likely I'll probably, like depending on how the match goes, I'll go I'll go out Palooza just to make sure I don't get in a beard. If I get in a beard, this I'm pretty much going to scoop. It's hard to recover from that. And then one Axis Kotaker in order to push for the OTK. And uh, that's pretty much right there, the whole deck profile, guys. Go ahead and comment down below what kind of changes you would like to see me make to this deck. Because like I said earlier in the video, this is not the end all be all. I take all of your guys' criticism and all of your guys' advice uh, to a team. And I really would rather prefer just being a much better player with better deck profiles for you guys, the viewers, so that you guys can get top tier content. And a soon to be top tier Kaiba approved YouTube channel because you know, hashtag Kaiba Corp. Let's go, baby. So, well, anyways, guys, well, that's pretty much the deck. Let me know what you guys liked about it. Let me know what you guys didn't like about it. Go ahead and comment down below how I can make this deck, this entire channel, better for you guys. Like the video if you like the profile, dislike it if you didn't. And then again, I challenge you guys to comment down below to, to definitely let me know what you liked about the video, what you liked about the deck profile, what you didn't like about the video, what you didn't like about the deck profile, so that I can make this channel better for you guys, the viewers. Go ahead and share this video with other like-minded individuals because I want to bring back all of our audience back to the game, including retired players like how I was once retired. And one big thing left, show me how to use this card, guys. There was a lot of times where I felt like cutting this card out just because, like, I know it's a good extender and it's basically for free in this deck, right? But there was times where I thought about cutting it out just because I felt like, well, what if I banish my needed things? You know what I mean? Like, what if I, what if I banish one of the bricks in order to bring out Red Eyes Dark Dragoon? Red Eyes Dark Dragoon is not necessary to win with this deck, but it helps. It helps apply extra pressure, so it's still an Orcus deck. Let's remember that. But go ahead and comment down below. Just definitely help me out with this deck. Do the... I'm going to keep coming at you guys with deck profiles. And also, guys, thanks for staying tuned for the entire video with my son being a little crackhead in the background. He sugared out, and it's 12 in the morning. And uh, I'm sugared out, too, so uh, we're both little crackheads. But thanks again, guys, uh, for tuning in. Um, yeah. Peace out, y'all.